Hello guys and welcome to Football Fund UK. Hope you guys can hear me okay. So welcome to the show guys. We're here for League 2 action, action as the Yorkshire Derby. Uh, Harrogate Town v Bradford City. We're underway guys. Just bear me a second while I get the team news on the screen. That's uh, Harrogate now on the attack. Down that far side as the ball played it. Goalkeepers come out to intercept it and kicked it out on that far side. So, here we go. Spare me a second, guys. Just trying to get the team news on the screen. So, we've got a throw in on that far side for Bradford. Deep inside the Harrogate half. It's a throw in long into the box but it's gone behind and that'll be a goal kick to Harriet Harrogate, Harrogate so there we go sorry about that guys and just trying to get organized here so share, share, share. there we go guys So long ball up the field from the goalkeeper. And it's now Harrogate play the ball out wide to this near side. Now coming forward. That's a Bradford challenge for it. And the ball just kept in on this near side. But be really scrappy as Bradford still trying to win it back. But Harrogate still coming forward as eventually Bradford managed to kick it up the field. As it's headed back in the direction it came from. Now both sets of players knocking it about as Harrogate chip it forward and it goes all the way back to the Bradford goalkeeper who just manages to come to the edge of his box and intercept it. Now the ball played out wide on that far side as Bradford kicked the ball long up the field. It's intercepted by Harrogate. Harrogate now with the possession on the far side as they kick it back up the field. It's not back in the direction it came from by Bradford as Bradford now working the ball down that far side coming towards the edge of the box. Harrogate make the challenge as they manage to win it back and now Harrogate knock it away but Bradford regain the possession as they come again on that far side coming towards the edge of the box. Ball crossed in as it goes right past them across the face of goal and Harrogate just seeing it go behind and that will be a goal kick to Harrogate. Harrogate. Not a bad ball in that though, guys. Right across the face of goal, but no Bradford play there able to latch onto it. Now the ball played. Back up the field as Bradford intercepts it. Now Bradford play it out wide to this near side as they come forward, working their way towards the edge of the box. Bradford unable to keep it in there, though, as Harrogate make the challenge and the ball's gone out of play on this near side. Uh, throw into Bradford deep inside the Harrogate half of the field. Going to be a long throwing into the box, this I think, guys. A long throwing comes in as Harrogate managed to knock it away, but it's not cleared yet. As uh, oh, Harrogate now playing it out wide to this near side, but the ball's gone out of play, and that's going to be another throw into Bradford, but this time uh, closer to the halfway line. Now, long ball thrown down the field as the throwing comes back into play. Harrogate coming to challenge for it, but Bradford still managing to keep the possession under pressure here as they work the ball down this near side. Working through the press, taking it to the byline as Harrogate not giving it up and eventually they've ended up knocking it out of play. So that's going to be a corner on this near side to Bradford. Good away attendance from the Bradford fans as they sold out their allocation of about a thousand tickets. So throw in, sorry, corner on this near side for Bradford. And we're just coming up to five minutes gone, guys. It's a 
corner comes in towards the near post. It's knocked away as Harrogate kick it long up the field. And now Harrogate on the attack as Bradford with limited bodies back behind the ball here. Clumsy challenge there, but no foul given by the referee. And so now Harrogate play it all the way back to the goalkeeper just on the edge of the box as the goalkeeper now plays the ball out wide to this near side. Ball played forward. As Harrogate knocking it, knocking it on there as uh, Bradford unable to keep it as they managed to win it back though now. Now Bradford playing it forward as it's won back by Harrogate. Harrogate kicking the ball long out wide to this near side as they come towards the edge of the box. But Bradford managing to knock it away as both sets of players now with the possession, challenging for the possession on the halfway line. And the ball knocked up the field by Harrogate as both sets of players trying to come to challenge for it. No, not back in the direction it came from and eventually headed all the way back to the Harrogate goalkeeper. Goalkeeper now kicks the ball long down the field. As, as it's being challenged for on that far side by both sets of players, and it's gone out for a Bradford throw in just inside the Bradford half. So, full house for this one, guys. Obviously, Harrogate Town and Bradford not too far apart, very local. And a full house at Harrogate Town as the ball knocked all the way back to the goalkeeper who just intercepts it and now Harrogate to play out from the back as they play the ball forward now knocking it out wide to this near side as Bradford quickly come to challenge for it and it's gone out of play again on this near side for another throw in well Harrogate wanting to take that throw in quickly but the referee has pulled it back Now the ball played forward as it's knocked back in the direction it came from by Bradford. Oh, now the ball crossed into the box as it's knocked away. And Bradford regained the possession as they played back towards the halfway line. Now it's played back out wide on that far side as they try to come forward, but... Uh, Harrogate make the challenge and uh, it's just deflected out on that far side for a throw-in. So throw into Harrogate deep inside their own half on that far side. Long throwing comes in as it's thrown long up the field. Both sets of players trying to challenge for it as it's knocked forward. Now Harrogate managing to win the ball in the centre of the field under pressure as they play it out wide on this near side. Bradford coming to challenge for it, but Harrogate still with the possession. Oh, well, some tasty challenges going in here, guys. As eventually Harrogate managing to play it back into the centre of the field as they work it out to the opposite side. Now, Bradford quickly trying to challenge and no more tasty challenges. And this time the referee is going to blow the foot up for the foul. And that will be a free kick to Harrogate Town on the far side of the field, midway inside their own half. So, ball played short as now Harrogate build from the back, playing the ball out wide to this near side as Bradford quickly come to challenge for it. Harrogate. Unable to keep it there as it's knocked forward and it's gone out of play. And that will be another throw in on this near side for Harrogate. And Jamie's with us. How's it going, Jamie? Jamie's saying, all right, guys, mate, how are you doing? Uh, being chat in a bit. I'm just doing uh, food shopping. No worries, Jamie. Thank you for dropping in, mate. Hope you have... I uh, hope your shopping trip goes well. We're going to get it done at the weekend, haven't you, mate? So thank you for dropping in, Jamie. And uh, stay safe, mate. Thank you for that, top man. Classy guy, one of our regular fan dinners, Jamie. 
Thank you for that, mate. You're a star. Now, Bradford winning the ball on this near side as Harrogate come to challenge for it. Bradford still with the possession. Oh, and a clumsy challenge there. And that's going to be a free kick to Bradford right on this near side in a dangerous position just outside the box. So, yeah, thank you for that, Jamie. Hope you have uh, uh, hope your shopping goes well and fast, mate. I'm sure you'd rather be at home with a beer in and, a, and watching a football. <laughs> but, yeah, duty calls, mate, duty calls. So, free kick on this near side for Bradford, just outside the box. And it's a couple of yards from the touchline. So, we're going to get a good cross into the box here, I imagine, from Bradford. Ball crossed in as it's knocked away and out to that far side. And eventually, it's gone out of play. And that will be a goal kick to Harrogate Town. Not the best cross into the box, to be fair. So if you just join us, guys, we're 11 minutes in. Still nil nil. I'm going to have a goal kick now from Harrogate. So the goalkeeper now to take the free kick. The goal kick, sorry. Ball kick long, straight. Up the field as both sets of players trying to win it in the centre of the park. Harrogate managed to chip it forward, but it's headed back in the direction it came from by Bradford as it's deflected out wide on this near side and eventually bounces out for a throw into Bradford midway inside the Harrogate half on this near side of the field. So Bradford with the throw in as now the ball comes back into play. Bradford trying to play it down this near side as Harrogate come to challenge and it's knocked straight out of play again for another throw in. Now Bradford with the ball crossed into the box as it's knocked away by Harrogate. And now Bradford regain the possession further up the field as they kick it long again back down towards the edge of the uh, Harrogate box. Bradford managing to intercept it as a challenge comes in and the referee's blown for the foul. So, free kick to Harrogate Town, just outside their own box, on this near side. Now, I think it's just for an arm, a flailing arm in the face there. So, the referee's given it as a foul. So, free kick, free kick to Harrogate. First time I've watched this fixture, to be fair, guys. So, I'm not sure if it's normally an eventful derby, but it started well. Ball kicked long down the field by the goalkeeper. As now Harrogate managed to win the possession. Uh, so, try to kick it long, but it takes a deflection off Bradford player there and bounces out on that far side for a throw into Harrogate. Bang on the halfway line on the far side of the field. Ball thrown in as now Bradford head it back in the direction it came from. Harrogate knock it forward as now both sets of players trying to win it as in the centre circle as it's headed out wide on that far side by Harrogate and it goes out of play for a Bradford throwing midway inside their own half on the far side of the field. A lot of throw-ins early on here, guys. Hopefully the game will... Uh, get going properly very shortly without as many um without as many throw-ins but uh, it's just that way it is at lower leagues guys now the ball comes uh in as bradford play it forward now they knock it out wide to this near side as they work the way down this near side taking it to the byline as they try to get the cross in there but harrogate managed to block it off and it's deflected behind for a corner on this near side to bradford So, yeah, thank you for that, Jamie, mate. Top man. So, now the corner comes in. It's deep towards the back post and it's headed wide. And that will be a goal kick to Harrogate Town. Not the best header there. It was a decent delivery into the box, but uh, 
just couldn't get um, a decent header off it as it's just bounced clear off the top of his head and gone behind. So goal kick now for Harrogate as the ball kicked long up the field, headed back in the direction it came from. As uh, both sets of players heading it about uh, just on the edge of the centre circle, Harrogate eventually managing to get it down. They play it back to the goalkeeper as the goalkeeper kicks the ball long straight down the middle of the field. It's headed back in the direction it came from uh, by Bradford. Now Bradford play it out wide to that far side as they knock it forward towards the edge of the box. Harrogate coming to challenge for it, but Bradford's still with the possession here as Harrogate managed to make the challenge. And win the ball back as they kick the ball long up the field. And it's not back in the direction it came from. And eventually it bounces out of play. And that will be a goal kick again for Harrogate. The ball kick long down the field. As it's worked out wide on that far side, chipped forward, but Bradford intercepts it as they knock it back in the direction it, it came from. Now the ball with Harrogate just uh, inside their own half, close to the halfway line as they try to come forward, but Bradford challenging for it. But Harrogate managed to knock it long down that far side of the field. As they come towards the edge of the box, looking for the cross, cross comes in. As it's, well, just managed to keep it in there, Harrogate. As they knock it out wide to this near side. Bradford challenging for it. As they manage to get back, make the challenge and knock the ball up the field. But it's won back by Harrogate inside the Bradford half as they knock it back to the halfway line. Oh, ball's knocked out of play on this near side. Now the ball comes back in play. It's Harrogate with the possession. Now coming forward down the middle. As the ball crossed into the box. Harrogate with the shot and it's blocked off by Bradford as it deflects it away up the field and Harrogate managed to win back the possession. Now Harrogate play it out wide on this near side. It's a long ball crossed up towards the edge of the box, but it's headed out of play on this near side by Bradford. And that's going to be a throw in on this near side to uh, Harrogate deep inside uh, the Bradford half of the field on this near side. Ball comes in as Harrogate. Well, just knocked it straight back out of play there. So it's going to be another throw in. Ball comes in now as Harrogate with a cross into the box. Headed wide. Uh, it's not gone out of play yet. Harrogate managed to keep it as they play it back out to that far side. Now looking for another cross. Blocked off by Bradford. But Harrogate managing to win back the ball as they're still in possession on that far side. Just play it back up the field slightly. As now they chip the ball forward. Always under pressure by Bradford. As Harrogate just managing to keep the possession there as they play it forward. But eventually it is won back by Bradford who kicked the ball long up the field. As Harrogate knock it back in the direction it came from. Keeping the pressure on here, Harrogate. As Bradford knock it straight back up the field. And eventually it's gone out of play on that far side for another throw in. But yeah, Harrogate really trying to keep the pressure on there. Now the ball with Bradford on that far side. It's to kick the ball long up the field. Harrogate come to challenge for it. And it takes a deflection on that far side and it's gone out for another throwing, but this time inside the Harrogate half of the field. It's 
So I'll throw into Harrogate here. Ball thrown long down the field. As now Bradford knock it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper kicks the ball long down the field as it's headed on. Intercepted by Harrogate. Claims for a handball there, but Harrogate uh, kicked the ball long. No, nothing given by the referee as Harrogate now on that far side coming towards the edge of the box. But Bradford challenged for it as they managed to win it back, knocking it back in the direction it came from and it takes a deflection on that far side and goes out for a throw into Harrogate. Harrogate now with the throwing taken quickly as they come to the byline. Ball crossed in, headed towards goal, and it's in just past the goalkeeper at the near post. And Harrogate have opened the score on 20 minutes, 30 seconds. Harrogate town one, Bradford nil. And it's been coming, to be fair. Harrogate been building the momentum. What a cross into the box. And headed on. And the goalkeeper couldn't keep it out. <coughs> oh, really good goal in fairness, that, guys. <coughs> Bradford get us back underway as they play the ball out wide on this near side. It's knocked out of play by Harrogate. Now a long throwing down the field by Bradford as they throw it towards the edge of the Harrogate box. Harrogate knocking it away as Bradford intercepts it on the halfway line, knocking it back in the direction it came from. Headed back up the field by Harrogate. It's now Bradford knock it down the middle. Very scrappy at the moment, guys. Harrogate now knock the ball out of play on that far side. And that will be a throw in to. Well, it's actually gone for a throw in. No, the referee's pulled it back here for a foul. I didn't see no foul there, but he's given a free kick. Didn't see nothing wrong there, but he's given a free kick to Harrogate. Midway inside their own half. Ball kick long down the field as Bradford knock it away. Now Bradford with the possession on the halfway line as they just cut it back there. Ball played out wide to this near side. I say now come forward. Harrogate coming to challenge for it, but Bradford managed to knock it into the centre of the field. Now Harrogate managed to intercept it as they just knock it back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper kicks the ball long. Up the field as both sets of players trying to challenge for it now in the middle of the park. It's headed forward as Bradford trying to knock it towards goal. But Harrogate knock it away out wide to that far side. It's won back by Bradford as Bradford now cross it towards the edge of the box. It's, well, we've got a clumsy challenge there and the referee's given the foul. So free kick to Harrogate uh, just inside their own box. And Pure Lois with us. How's it going, mate? Welcome to the show. Pure Lois saying, all right, Gaz, Steve and Jamie. How are you doing, Pure Lois? Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're having a good start to your weekend. Uh, Jamie's not with us at the moment. He's out shopping. He just dropped in to say hello and said he'd be back in shortly when he's, uh, done, it, when he's done his shopping. And uh, Stevie is not with us either, mate. I'm flying solo today. Uh, but welcome to the show, Pure Lois. Ball played out wide on this near side. It's now Bradford with the possession. Just trying out a League Two game. It's a derby we've not tried before, Loyalist. So thought I'd give it a try, see what numbers we got. But it's not looking like it's a popular fixture. Never watched this fixture before. Oh, Bradford now with the ball played down the middle. As they managed to get the shot off. And the goalkeeper makes the save. 
and deflects it wide. And that's going to be a corner to Bradford on this near side. And Pure Life saying, all, all's good. Gaz, cheers. Awesome. Good to hear, mate. Good to hear. Got a corner on this near side. Ball comes in. Well, just bouncing about there. And no, oh, Bradford, knock it past the far post. And that will be another goal kick to Harrogate. So, yeah, Pure Life's not tried this fixture before, mate. So, I thought with no um, championship, no Scottish Premiership, no Premier League, um, obviously, good opportunity to see what kind of interest we got on this because it is a Yorkshire derby, but we've never done it here before on Fan Den, so it's worth a try. But it's better to do it on a quiet weekend when there's less club football, see what kind of numbers. But it's not looking like it's a popular fixture. Uh, but this is how we learn. This is how we learn. Then we start to learn what games to do and what games not to do. Um, obviously, then we're not wasting our time doing fixtures that fans are not really interested in. But I'm quite surprised because these two teams are, I think they're only about 10 miles apart, uh, Harrogate and Bradford. They're only about 10 miles apart. So I'm quite surprised we're not getting more interest from the fans, especially with Harrogate's capacity. Their stadium's only about uh, four or 5,000 uh, capacity. And I'm sure Bradford could finish, fill that on their own because I think their stadium's double that so uh so yeah pure life saying i'm going to uh the shop short late mate need need to feed the belly no worries mate no worries well thank you for dropping in early and uh come and join in mate yeah no worries if you got stuff today to do mate uh you jump off and do it but like i said just trying to let you know just stop like i say we've got to try some of these lower league games in I did some, a couple of, not last season, season before, I did some in Scotland to try them out. This season doing some, obviously trying to do a couple of League 2 games, see what kind of numbers we get uh, and see if we get any interest from lower league fans. At least they can't say we haven't tried. Do you know what I mean? But like I say, we want fans of all clubs across the leagues to get involved in fan then, but uh, obviously... We can't concentrate on games that have royally poor numbers, but we'll give them all a go as much as possible. Piolo is saying better to try a, a fall, try and fall, fall than better to try and fail or fall than to fa fail to try, as they say, goals. Go <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good one, that. Yeah, well said, Pure Lies. That's a good in that. So we've got a stoppage at the moment, guys. Uh, we've got the linesman on the far side. I don't know how he's injured himself, but he seems to have. So the medical staff uh, just on the pitch at the moment, giving treatment to the linesman. <laughs> I think there's a few Premier League uh, referees that could do with some treatment, isn't there, guys? Uh, Maxime, how you doing, mate? Welcome to the show. Long time no see, mate. Not seen you for a bit, Maxime. How are you doing, mate? Maxime saying hello, Gaz. Uh, in the pub uh, by is that Am Anfield to watch uh, the LFC Legends. Ah, yes, it's the Legends game, isn't it? Uh, well, hope you have a hope you enjoy the game, mate. And um, thank you for dropping in, Maxime. Always good to see you, mate. Uh, yeah, if you get a chance, drop in later on and let us know what the score was. Uh, hope it's a good game, mate. And uh, Enjoy your afternoon out at the pub. Are you going to the game or are you just uh, at the pub before the game, before you go to the ground? It's a long stoppage, this. Just apologies, guys. Just seeing the linesman. He's, I don't know what he's doing. I think he, yeah, he's got a nosebleed. I don't know how he's done it. Um, but he's just receiving treatment at the moment off the medical staff. But if you're just joining us, guys, we're 29 minutes in. And it's currently Harrogate Town 1, Bradford City nil. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for that, Maxime. A pleasure to see you, mate. And hope you enjoy your afternoon out at the Legends match. Top stuff, mate. Uh, Pure Lolly saying, working on the linesman. Uh, that's the first. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. I think he got a kick. Of the, I think the ball got blasted at him, mate. I think the, the ball got blasted at him. That's good, that's good. Maybe it might knock some sense into some of these referees. Maybe that's what we should do. 
We should line up our Premier League and SPFL referees uh, in the box and uh, blast balls at them. And maybe if it maybe it might knock some sense into them. <laughs> and Pure Lawless saying, Maxime, hello. Awesome. Thank you, Pure Lawless. Top man. Yeah, you probably haven't. Probably first time you've seen Maxime uh, before. Uh, Pure Lawless. Maxime uh, has been around the channel for quite a while, but just drops in randomly. When, when, uh, whenever he's got the time, but uh, he has showed some support in the past on the channel. But yeah, and there's a few fans like that that just don't show up for a while, and then we all, all of a sudden we see them. I think we'll see more of that as the channel grows. To be fair, but yeah, top man, pure lawless. Thank you, mate. Loving the positive vibes. Uh, pure lawless, pure lawless saying that's revenge in football, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I can imagine a first, a, a, a couple of first team. Uh, and what's the word? Um, I can imagine a first, a few first officials that could do with a uh, a ball smacking them in the face. <laughs> uh, pure lawless saying yes, guys. Uh, first time I've spoken. Yeah, 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 no worries, mate. Like I say, Maxime, uh, it's been around the channel, part of the fan den community for a while, but just drops him randomly uh, when he's got the time. Uh, I think I think he goes to a lot of games, to be fair. But uh, yeah, just letting you know, mate, in case you thought it was somebody new. I know you've been around the channel for a, uh, quite quite a while now, pure lawless. But obviously, there's a couple of fans like Maxime that. Uh, we've been around the channel since I first started it, to be fair. So uh, I'm just letting you know that it wasn't a new face. That was all, mate. And I, I knew you were. I probably haven't met Maxine before. As I say, Maxine uh, has been quite supportive of the channel in the past. But uh, as I say, comes on randomly when he's got the time. So I've still got this stoppage going on for the linesman on the far side. What is taking so long to sort out a nosebleed? <laughs> I don't, we're having a mother's meeting on the far side of the field. Come on, we don't need this delay. We've got three o'clock kickoff. Get on with it, you mad ass. What a... Puff, he just wasted five minutes with a linesman being a mad ass. <laughs> just get on with it. Oh my god, I've never seen such a palaver over a nosebleed. Normally, if that was a player, they'd come over to the touchline, they'd shove cotton wool up their nose, put their head back, stand there for two minutes, and then get them back on the field. I think the linesman's just lapping up the attention. Uh, Pure Lawless say, never heard from Ken uh, either for a while. Hope all's good with him. Yeah, I know. Yeah, not seen him for a while, mate. Uh, yeah, we hope he's well. Hope he's doing well. I don't know. It's some some fans just drift away, mate. I don't know if he's drifted away, but it, I know he goes to a lot of games, doesn't he? So I don't know whether with the good weather creeping in, whether he's been going to a lot more games. Uh, but yeah, um, not seen him for quite a while myself, mate. So, I, as I say, can't always uh, predict how people are going to take to the channel. Some people love being part of it, uh, like yourself and obviously Joey and uh, Jamie. Joey obviously not with us at the moment because he's working in Belgium. Uh, but I know when he comes back home, he'll probably drop back in again. Uh, but yeah, you're right, mate. We're not seen. Uh, Ken for a while. Hope he's doing well wherever he is. Uh, we wish him the best. But uh, yeah, maybe, maybe like I say, maybe he's busy what, going to games, or maybe, maybe he just got bored of the channel. I'm not sure. Uh, ball knocked out wide on this near side. He seemed to. Oh, we've got another foul. So it's going to be a free kick here to. 
Bradford. Is it going to be Bradford's? No, oh, we've got a clash there in the middle. And I don't know which way the referee's going to give this. Uh, but we might see him again, Pure Lawless. He might pop back in. But if not, not to worry. It's not, it's not a big deal. Some fans uh, will come and go. And some fans uh, will obviously become a big part of the channel. And the fan den community. But hopefully we might see him again. But wherever he is and whatever he's doing, we wish him well. Uh, Piolo is saying uh, they're checking VAR. <laughs> yes. Well, we've got a free kick here. That's a good one, Pure Lawless. We've got a free kick here for Bradford. Very, 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 very central. Uh, I would say about 25 yards from goal. Very, very central this. So we're going to get definitely. I'd be shocked if we don't get a, uh, a shot on goal here straight off the, uh, straight from the free kick. Free kick taken. Shot comes in and the goalkeeper makes the save. Well, he managed to get it over the wall, but it wasn't enough venom in it uh, to get it past the goalkeeper as he managed his. To make a comfortable save there. So Harrogate now to play out from the back. Uh, Piolo saying time wasting by the linesman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Ball knocked out wide on that far side. I'm quite surprised we're not getting more interest from uh, fans of these two clubs, to be honest. This game's not on the normal telly. But it is a Saturday. It's always difficult on Saturdays what kind of numbers you're going to get. People going out, doing their shopping and obviously catching up with catching up with things at home and stuff like that after working all week. Would have been better if this fixture had come in the midweek. Then we could have given it, uh, I think we'd have probably got better numbers on it. But we've got to try these games. Some games we'll find will be good for the channel. Some games we'll find that we will won't be very good for the channel but uh until we try them we don't know do we guys now the ball played long down the field uh by the bradford goalkeeper as now harrogate managing to intercept it but not able to keep it as bradford managed to win it back now they play it towards the edge of the box it's worked out wide on this near side it's now uh, they try to come forward just cutting it back there though under pressure from harrogate as the ball played back towards the halfway line as Harrogate pressing the ball well. Uh, Piolo is saying, sorry, I'll be uh, here about another 30 minutes, guys. Uh, need to wait on family getting ready. No worries, Piolo. Steve. As I say, mate, thank you for coming, getting involved uh, whenever you can, if you need to jump off. I know it's Saturday, mate. I know uh, Saturdays, obviously, you've got family to catch up with and shopping and, and, and you know, and food shopping, things like that at weekend. So, yeah, not a problem, mate. Jamie dropped in early and said uh, he wanted to be in, but obviously he's got to go and get food shopping while he's got a day off work. Uh, but there's another stream coming later on, uh, Pure Lawless. Um, hopefully that one will be a bit more active. But I had to try this game today. I had to try uh, give it, uh, see what kind of numbers we could get. We're not covered a lot of lower league football either in League 2. Um but yeah, no worries, Pure Lois. Thank you for letting me know. And if you need to get off, mate, not a problem. I uh, always appreciate you guys coming and getting involved whenever you can, mate. Thank you. Uh, corner on that far side for Bradford as the corner comes in. And well, it's headed, well, it's headed wide. And that's going to be uh, a goal kick to Harrogate. Decent cross into the box. But again, a wasted opportunity as the ball headed well over the top of the bar. Now the goalkeeper kicks the ball long, out wide on that far side. Oh, another collision here. And the referee's going to block you yeah, up. He's blown the whistle for the foul here. He's going to bring it back. Oh, the Bradford player just arguing there with the referee. Uh, Piolo saying, you're welcome. I was surprised uh, to see you on today, to be honest. No, it's Saturday, isn't it, mate? I've switched my things around. I've looked ahead. I didn't know. I didn't have, I've been crazy busy all week, mate, so I haven't had time to look at the fixtures. But last night after I finished, uh, the, finished the game last night, I looked at the fixtures and saw that there was a few games today. But next to no, well, there's no UK games 
uh, apart from women's football on Sunday. Uh, so I thought, right, well, better off to do do what I can today and tomorrow I'll catch up with my normal work. So, uh, so yeah, just jiggling things around. That's one of the benefits of being self-employed that I can jiggle things around sometimes to accommodate the channel. Although I might not be self-employed much longer. Ball played long down the field as the ball now with Harrogate as they try to keep it there under pressure. But Bradford challenging for it as they unable to win it back. Now Harrogate playing the ball long out wide to this near side. As now they're on the attack, charging towards the edge of the Bradford box. Bradford coming across to make the challenge as Harrogate managed to cross it into the box. It's headed away. And now Bradford win back the possession as Harrogate quickly tries to challenge for the ball. Bradford knock it out wide on that far side. And it's now Bradford switched the play out to this near side, knocking it across the field. It's not back in the direction it came from by Harrogate as both sets of players trying to win it. And now Harrogate chip it over the top, trying to get in behind the Bradford defence. Bradford with a clumsy challenge there on the edge of the box. And the referee is going to give the foul and he's going to get booked for that one. He just took the man out and not the ball. So that's going to be a free kick to Harrogate on the edge of the box. And uh, it's going to be a yellow card. Uh, Piolo saying, How's Beckett? Hope she's well. Uh, hello, Beckett. Well, thank you very much for that pure lawless, mate. Top man. You're a gentleman. Yep, she's doing well, mate. She's doing well. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. She's working nights. Uh, so she's sleeping. Fast asleep, mate. Um, so, yeah, she's working, mate. She, she works nights. She works for the NHS, so she works nights. So, uh She's been working all last night and she's working again tonight. So, so she's sleeping. And Steve is at work right now. So he's not with us. So that's why I'm flying solo. Oh, the cross. Oh, the shot. That was a shot. Good shot there by Harrogate, but saved by the goalkeeper at the near post. And now he quickly tries to get Bradford on the attack as he throws the ball out wide on that far side, racing forward as Harrogate. Just managed to intercept it, knocking it back to the goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper trying to clear the ball, but uh, he's challenged immediately by Bradford as eventually the ball knocked away up the field. Uh, but, yeah, thank you for that, Pio Lois. Thank you for asking, mate. She's doing well. As I say, uh, she's just in the process of doing her night shift. So she's, uh, she's sleeping. Now the ball played out wide on that far side. It's Bradford... Now, with the cross into the box, it's deep, headed away by Harrogate as the ball bounces out of play on this near side. And that's going to be a throw in to Bradford. How's Mrs. Lilish, pure Lilish? Hope she's doing well. Hope the family's doing well. How's your little grandchild? A couple of months have gone by now. Bet he's growing. Oh, the ball knocked out wide on that far side and it just bounces out of play. And that's going to be another throw. Get a lot of throw-ins in this game. So another throw-in on the far side for Harrogate, deep inside their own half of the field. Ball played up the field. As now, Harrogate on the attack. They managed to get the ball in behind, but Bradford just getting back to knock it out of play on that far side. And that will be a throw into Harrogate uh, deep inside the Bradford half. Then very cleverly working the ball up the field there, Harrogate. Uh, Pure Lord saying, we are, we are as good as can be here. Uh, Gaz, cheers. Well, that's good to hear, mate. That's good to hear. That's good to hear, mate. Although it doesn't sound very convincing, in fairness. That's just uh, my honest opinion. Uh, as you put the way you put it, we're as good as can be. So that suggests that uh, you could be better. 
But uh, I think we all have that feeling some days, to be fair, mate. So don't worry about it. <laughs> I know I certainly do. You know what I'm up against at the moment. Uh, but yeah, that's something we all feel, I think. So Harry, got, I've got a free kick on that far side. I thought it was going to be a throw in, but the referee's given it as a free kick, and I don't, I didn't see an awful lot wrong. Ball crossed into the box as it's headed wide, and that will be a goal kick to Bradford. Uh, Piolo saying, uh, well done to, for the NHS. Uh, they do a great job, uh, Gaz, especially regarding the epidemic. Well, I've got no comment. You won't like my th thoughts on the epidemic, but you're absolutely right, mate. Well said about the NHS. Uh, we are so lucky to have it, but unfortunately, I, I feel that it might not be with us for much longer uh, with the way the government are attacking it uh, with privatisation. But... Uh, as I say, I'm going to avoid the politics, but uh, but yeah, we are very lucky to have it. I just worry that we might not have it in another 20, 30 years. It served its purpose on it now, mate. You've got to remember the NHS was created for the people that fought the war. That was what it was for. Uh, free health care free healthcare to everybody that fought uh, in the Second World War. That generation is pretty much gone now. So the government kept their word and now uh, they don't want to carry on that free... Uh, that free healthcare, did it? Because it's becoming expensive in the modern day. So now they're trying to push everybody towards private healthcare, which is just a disgrace. Nine minutes added on, guys, at the end of this first half. Ball kick long down the field as it's knocked out wide on this near side. And now another foul here. Another foul here. But absolutely well said, Pure Lawless. I am very grateful for the fantastic work the NHS work uh, workers do. They don't get the credit they deserve, in fairness, mate. And it's about time the government stopped. I don't want to get onto politics, but this has got to be said. It's about time the government stopped pissing about and just give the pay rise to the NHS workers. They deserve it. They work hard. They put up with all the red tape that the government's always coming at them with. So they should be paid fairly and uh, given an adequate pay rise. Uh, thank you for that, Pure Lawless. Well said, mate. Well said. Uh, ball knocked out of play on this near side, and it's gone out for another throw in. Uh, so Harrogate now with a throw in midway inside uh, the Bradford half. Ball thrown long up towards the edge of the box as Bradford managing to knock it away out wide to that far side. Now the referee's blown for another foul here. Uh, so going to be a free kick to Bradford just outside their own box. Uh, Piolo is saying we could all be better, guys, uh, just ticking over, mate. No, absolutely, yeah. Well said, mate. I'm sure, like I said, we all have that feeling sometimes, mate. Totally understand that, especially after we've just got a year older. <laughs> so we have that feeling, Piolo, because we've just got a year older, both of us, mate. <laughs> Ball kicked long down the field by the Bradford goalkeeper, and it's a poor ball as it goes straight out of play. And that will be another, uh, that will be a goal kick now to Harrogate. Really poor ball that by the Bradford goalkeeper. Uh, Pure Law is saying, You're spot on, Gaz. I've been saying that for years regarding the NHS. Well, it's true, isn't it? It's true. It's very true, mate. Um, I agree with you. Yeah, absolutely true. But it, I, I'm with you, mate. It annoys me that the government won't give them a fair pay, pay rise and don't look after them well. It's all right painting uh, thank you NHS over all of the bloody roads. That money could be given, used towards giving them a pay rise. The amount of money the government waste every year and they're, they're, you know, they're penny pinching over giving a pay rise uh, to NHS workers, but they still give themselves a pay rise. Have you noticed that, mate? They still give themselves a pay rise. I think that politicians should only get a... I think the people should vote on whether a politician's earned, earned a pay rise. I do. I think that the people should have the vote on whether... When we do elections, when we have general elections, it should be in the voting uh, slip. Do you feel that the previous government have, have uh, done enough in your name and representing your community 
uh, to deserve a pay rise. And I bet you they wouldn't have one for years, would they? <laughs> You're like, no, as long as they continue to not give a pay rise to civil servants, then why should they have a pay rise? <laughs> that would be refreshing, wouldn't it? Huh? Ball knocked out of play on that far side. Uh, so it's gone out for another throw into Bradford. Uh, Piola saying, now, now, Gaz, uh, could be doing with a reversal uh, in years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. But that's why, that's why it's just, you know, that's why it's average, isn't it, mate? Because we're just aging like, but it's all good, mate. I'm aging like a fine wine in a vintage cellar. <laughs> Yeah, I got that, Pure Lois. The last, last comment was regards to the birthday. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. That's why I try not to talk about politics, mate, because once you get me started, I find it hard to not... I'm, I'm a very outspoken person. That's just me. I don't mean no offence to anybody, but I believe in saying what I see. Uh, but unfortunately, we live in a world that doesn't like that, don't we now? So uh, that's why I have to keep the politics out of the channel, but um, out of fun then anyway. But like I say... We've all got opinions on it, haven't we? But, uh, but yeah, I got that. Thank you for that, mate. Top man. Ball played long down this near side as Harrogate now managed to win the ball back. Played back to the goalkeeper. As now the goalkeeper kicks the ball long down the field. Ball sets the players trying to win it on this near side as Harrogate managed to get the ball down. But Bradford quickly challenged for it. We've got a scruffy challenge and the referee has blown for the foul there. Uh, And that will be a free kick to Harrogate on this near side, just inside their own half, but close to the halfway line. Uh, Pure Love said, I'm aging like an old prune. <laughs> I've seen a picture of you, mate. You don't look that bad. I'd say you're aging like a... Uh, a good Scottish malt whiskey. <laughs> Ball kicked long down the field. Uh, so now it's not back in the direction it came from. Ball sets the players trying to win it as Bradford oh, just gets away from them there and they've knocked it out of play. And that will be a throwing on this near side for Harrogate. Midway inside their own half of the field. Ball thrown up towards the halfway line as it's headed back in the direction by Bradford. And now Harrogate knock it back. Up towards the halfway line as the ball being headed around now in the middle of the park by both players. Eventually, it's knocked out wide on that far side. As Bradford pick up the loose possession. Now just kicking it long down the field with a long cross field pass out wide to this near side. As both sets of players try to win the ball on the edge of the box there. And it takes a deflection and goes out for a throw in. Throw in taken quickly on this near side for Bradford. As they knock it towards the edge of the box. Now it's played in behind as Bradford get the cross in. And, um, well, Harrogate, well, the referee's blown for a foul here. And Bradford complaining that Harrogate are making the most of the challenge. I'd have to see it again, to be fair, guys. Didn't look a lot. Didn't look a lot in it. And it is very windy as well on the pitch as well. So I don't know whether that's playing a part in some of these scruffy challenges. As the fans sing, you're not fit to referee around the stadium. First time I've heard that uh, in a while. Power to the people. So, yeah, the referee going to give it as a free kick to Harrogate. But, yeah. So, the Bradford... Uh, this player gone off on this near side, just waiting to come back on, but I don't think he's going to have time to come back on here. Don't forget, guys, please do hit that like button uh, if you could, if you like us covering this game. 
And thank you very much if you have already. Ball kicked long up the field by the goalkeepers. Now, Bradford managed to intercept it. I say now, kick the ball back up the field as it's headed into the centre of the park. Now, both sets of players trying to win it as Harrogate managed to pick up the loose possession there. They knock it out wide to that far side, but Bradford quickly trying to challenge for it as Harrogate now coming to the centre of the field. Ball knocked forward as Harrogate trying to come forward down the middle and Bradford managed to intercept the ball there as they knock it out wide to that far side and there goes uh, the half-time whistle and at half-time it is Harrogate Town 1, Bradford City 0. Uh, Pure Love saying, how's the linesman? Yeah, he's, he seems to have got on with it, mate. He seems to have got on with it. So, guys, let's have a look how that first half has gone in numbers. Just bear me a second. Excuse me. Just bear me a second, guys. Just going to bring up the uh, halftime match stats on the screen. So, bear me a second. So let's uh, here we go, guys. That should be on your screen now, guys. There we go. So this is how the first half has gone in numbers. As uh, it's finished 1 0 uh, to Harrogate Town at half time, but second half still to come. Tight game, very scrappy. Uh, so, this is how the game's gone in numbers, guys. Total shots uh, nine for Harrogate Town, seven for Bradford City. Shots on target four for Harrogate Town, uh, two for Bradford City. Possession. Uh, 49% for Harrogate Town, 51% for Bradford. Uh, passes 162 for Harrogate Town, 161 for Bradford. Uh, pass accuracy, 59% uh, for Harrogate, 57% uh, uh, for Bradford. Fouls, uh, five against Harrogate, 11 against Bradford. Yellow cards, uh, none uh, for either team. Well, there was one. Yeah, there was one. So I don't. So it's not showing the correct yellow cards at the moment. So I'm not sure why. Uh, offsides none and corners uh, none for Harrogate. Four for Bradford. So there you go, guys. And uh, I think that might also be playing a part. Actually, I've just remembered that there's not. Uh, the position these two teams are in in the league, that might also be having an uh, impact on why we're not getting loads of interest this afternoon. As both teams, we've not an awful lot to play for, both sitting mid-table in League Two. But I thought with it being a derby, we would get some interest. So let's have a quick look at other fixtures. Because I don't think we've got a lot going on this afternoon in the early kickoffs, but I know there is one other game that's going on at least. Uh, so just around the grounds, guys, quickly to let you know, there's only a handful of games, not even that, I don't think. Um, just a quick look around the grounds. Uh, at, uh, Manchester City ladies uh, are, are winning at the moment. 3-0 against Manchester United ladies. 72 minutes gone in that game. Uh, international friendlies, guys. Uh, full time result from uh, late last night. Argentina 3 0 winners against El Salvador and Peru 2 0 winners against uh, Nicaragua. Uh, Zambia uh, v Zimbabwe currently 2 2, 79 minutes gone. Um, other game to tell you about, guys, in League Two uh, Mansfield Town 1, Colchester United 1. And as we know, Bradford. Uh, currently 1-0 down here to Harrogate Town. Uh, one game to tell you about in the National League North, Kings Lynn Town, uh, currently 1-0 down to Tamworth. I don't think we've got any early kickoffs in Scotland. No, no early kickoffs in Scotland today. 
So yeah, that's uh, it. Obviously, guys, we've got a uh, we've got a reduced football calendar today. We've obviously it being the international week, so only really the lower league clubs uh, in England, Scotland, uh, and Northern Ireland playing. So. Uh, So, yeah, hopefully we'll have a couple of good games this afternoon. Piolo is saying sometimes it takes a painful experience to make us change our ways. Uh, comment for football refs. <laughs> yeah, yeah that would be a good one, that, wouldn't it? Ah, that's how they did it. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm just looking at some editing clip tips here. Just seeing how the, uh, how the... If you've noticed, Bradford City's badge is uh, a very annoying badge if you're doing edits because, because it's long and tall with the cockerel on top of the badge. So it makes it hard when you're doing post edits um, because obviously most other club badges are either, either round or, or, you know, squarish to a certain extent. Uh, but Bradford's is like kind of squarish then with the cockerel on top. And uh, I've just gotten a tip off the way, the, uh, uh, the way they're showing it. So uh, hopefully that'll help me in future when we do more Bradford edits. I'll have to make a preparation for that. Uh, Piolo is saying, Gaz, it's Hibs. Uh, that Rangers play tomorrow, then Celtic, and then uh, rematch uh, with Dundee after that. Tomorrow? Are you talking about ladies football, yeah? Just looking. There's no football. There's no football tomorrow in Scotland. Well, I'm not seeing any on the list anyway. Nothing tomorrow that I'm seeing for Scotland, mate. Are you getting your days mixed up, loyalist? I'm not sure. Or is that an under-21s game or something like that? I'm not seeing absolutely any. There's no no games listed tomorrow for Scottish football. Oh, yeah, sorry, there is one one game I'm seeing. Scottish Challenge Cup tomorrow. Uh, the new the new Saints v Adrians in, uh, yeah, Scottish Cup final, actually. Challenge Cup final. Um, but other than that, not seeing any other fixtures, uh, pure law list. Sorry, mate. Next week. I, th I've, well, I thought then you were throwing me off next week. So, yeah, no worries, mate. Thought that. Thank you for correcting that. Pure law saying, wonder what minis, mini minis, more prediction uh, on the Hibs game will be. Um. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys only played a couple of weeks ago. Um, I was, I've was i got to be honest with you, Phil I was disappointed with Rangers fans in that previous game with Hibs. I was really, really disappointed with Rangers fans. Uh, if you remember, in the game, there was an incident where uh, one of the Rangers, uh, one of the Hibs players got seriously injured on the edge of the box. And I think it was, uh, I can't remember what injury it was, but I know he went off the pitch. And I was shocked. I was shocked to hear that the Rangers fans um, showing no sympathy whatsoever to him in respect of uh, accusing him of time wasting. That's the way it came across, booing him, uh, implying he was time wasting, and he was genuinely interested, injured, genuinely injured, and he went off the pitch, uh, injured, and didn't carry on. He didn't come back on. He, he had to, he had to uh, be substituted. I can't remember what the name. The, the, I can't remember the player because obviously a couple of weeks back now. But I was quite shocked. I was quite shocked. I didn't realize. I didn't think Rangers fans. I knew. I know Rangers fans can be like that with Celtic. I know the rivalries deep with Celtic, but I thought they was quite respectful Rangers fans to most other clubs in Scotland. So I was quite shocked to see that, mate. I was quite shocked to see that. And the reason it shocked me more was because then when I came off the game afterwards, I seen loads of Rangers fans complaining about injuries to Rangers players. And it's like, hang on a minute, you complain about injuries to your own players, but you showed absolutely no sympathy. Uh, 
towards a, a hips player that got genuinely seriously injured. I was quite shocked with that. A lot of boos and uh, hissing coming from the Rangers fans implying that it was fake injury. And it turned out to be very much a, a genuine injury where he couldn't carry on. So I was quite shocked with that. I uh, just thought I'd share that with you, mate. I'm not saying that uh, all Rangers fans, but I was I was shocked with that. I thought Rangers fans had a bit better, uh, bit more uh, consideration to the opposition, obviously, with the exception of the Celtic rivalry. But uh, I was quite shocked with that. Uh, Pure Lois saying, thumb uh, in, bum, uh, mind and in neutral. <laughs> That's a new one on me. I've not heard that one before, mate. <laughs> not heard that one. So, yeah. So, you guys playing Hibs. I presume that's at Ibrox. Is that at Ibrox, mate? The Hibs Rangers game. But there's uh, also some Scottish Cup games coming up as well. On uh, Is it the 20th of April? The Scottish Cup semi-final, is it? If I'm remembering correctly, that's on the 20th and the 21st of April, if I remember correctly. Um, so, obviously, uh, there'll be very interesting games. I always like the Scottish Cup. It's always, uh, always seems to be good intensity. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I need a fresh, fresh coffee. Right, guys, I'm going to quickly go and make a fresh coffee uh, while it's half time. Uh, but please do keep your comments coming, guys. We'd love to hear more from you. Um, thank you, Loyalist, for your contribution to the show, mate. If you've got to jump off, I know you said you need to go and uh, see, go and pick up family or something, I think you said. Uh, so if you need to do that, I totally understand, mate. Not a problem. Uh, but like I said, we'll be here with hopefully a three o'clock kickoff um, as today's. Three o'clock kickoff here on Fan Den. Uh, sorry, I've forgotten. <laughs> My missus scheduled it for me this morning. I've forgotten. Uh, it's uh, Derby County in it. We're doing Derby County, and who was the other team? That was it. Northampton v Derby County is the three o'clock kickoff we're doing here on Fan Den. So, um, so yeah. Getting confused with them. Uh, Piolo saying, Gaz, with all the cancellations in football, it's pickled my head. No, I, I no, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's, well, the international the international break doesn't help, does it? It really muddles things up. And I don't agree with it. I don't you could argue a case for the international breaks at, earlier in the season, but at this stage of the season. I don't agree with it. When you've got clubs coming to the climax of what they're competing for, I don't think it's right to have the international breaks keep interrupting it. Uh, but unfortunately, I think it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better because uh, not not this season coming, but the season after, next year, 2025, uh, FIFA are introducing their new uh, world club competition format. So there's going to be no more more clubs involved in the World Club Cup uh, from next year, and that's going to have a big impact uh, on uh, on the fixtures and the way the calendar goes. So we'll see how that uh, comes about when it gets introduced. And also, as we know, this season uh, we're going to be having uh, at the end of this season we're going to be having the EFL, uh, so the uh, UEFA uh, changing the format of the Champions League. Uh, bowing down to those rich clubs that wanted to break away. Disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Right, guys. That coffee's really warm. I'm going to go and make a fresh one. And Pure Life said, especially in the SPFL, bunch of no users. Uh, no users? Well, I agree, mate. I agree. I know there's things wrong with the SPFL. Definitely agree with you there, mate. Uh, my biggest frustration is with the SPFL. And obviously, I'm still, uh, obviously, a lot to learn about Scottish football. But uh, 
And I'm honest enough to admit that. But I've learned quite a lot in the time I've been doing fan then. And one thing I've got to do about Scottish football that really frustrates me is the SPFL not getting their finger out their backside and attracting some better sponsorship so that the money can improve. Uh, that's the, the, the prize money can be improved to clubs uh, for where they finish in the league. And that's only going to happen if, if the SPFL actually make the S do something to, to try and attract an half decent sponsor that's going to put their hand in their pocket and give some decent sponsorship. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Right, guys, I'm going to quickly grab a fresh coffee while we're on a half time break. I'll be back in a moment or two. Uh, as I say, please do it that like button and drop your comments in the chat. We'd love to hear from you. I'll be back in a sec. Sorry about that, guys. So, we're off and underway for the second half as I'm just getting underway now. Ball played out or wide on that far side as Bradford kicked the ball long down the field. It's intercepted by Harrogate on that far side. It's now they knock it back in the direction it came from. Um, Pure Lawless saying, well said, guys. Thank you, Pure Lawless. Top man. Yeah. Like I say, they definitely could do a better job, I think. I definitely think they should learn. I don't want to, obviously, they should learn. They should learn from other European leagues and how they're getting uh, big sponsorship deals. They should be learning from that, mate, in my opinion. If other leagues can do it, I'm not saying that Scottish football can get, you know, a, a, a huge sponsor like the English Premier League, but they could certainly get a better sponsor uh, to help improve the prize money, I think. Uh, ball kicked long down the field now by the goalkeeper. Uh, what did you make of the lower leagues, Pio Lawless? Obviously, you, you know, because Rangers had to go drop down uh, for all the problems uh, that happened a couple of, a few years back. But when you guys were playing in the lower leagues, what did you make of it? What did you make? What, what did you notice was the main problem in the lower leagues in Scotland, uh, Pio Lawless? Was it pitch infrastructure? Uh, uh, was it a lack of poor refereeing? Uh, was it uh, a lack of 
support from the SPFL financially. What, what was what was the overriding thing that you noticed, mate? If you can let me know, just share your thoughts. Ball's gone out of play on this near side, and that's going to be a throw into Harrogate. Now the ball thrown in, and it's knocked straight back out of play again, and that's going to be another throw in on this near side for Bradford. Midway inside the Harrogate half. Ball thrown long up the field. And it's now Harrogate knock it back in the direction it came from. Now Harrogate with the possession as to get it down, playing it into the centre of the park. Now coming forward as they race towards the edge of the box. Bradford tried to challenge for it, pushed them out wide on that far side as just managed to keep the ball in play. But Bradford have won it back as they... Knock it up the field, but it's won back by Harrogate just on the edge of the centre circle. It's now Harrogate racing forward towards the edge of the box. Uh, well, Bradford make the challenge and the referee's given the free kick to Bradford just on the edge of their own box. Oh, sugar. Now, Bradford on the attack down this near side. <coughs> As he just cut the ball back. <coughs> Sorry, guys. <coughs> Frog in the throat. As he just cut the ball back into the centre of the park. Now it's played out wide on that far side as Harrogate uh, come to challenge for it but Bradford still managing to keep the possession as they race forward now playing the ball into the centre of the field now knocking it out wide on this near side as they come towards the edge of the box Harrogate come to challenge as Bradford cross it in but the goalkeeper manages to intercept the ball quite comfortably there and that will be relief momentarily for Harrogate Goalkeeper kicks the ball long down the field as it's headed back in the direction it came from by Bradford. Now Bradford with the possession as they knock it out wide where the referee is blown for the flag going up on the far side for offside. So that's going to be a free kick to Harrogate just on the edge of the centre circle inside their own half. So if you just join us, guys, we're on 49 and a half minutes gone. Currently, Harrogate 1, Bradford 0. Harrogate kicking the ball long over the top, getting into the box uh, to get the shot off. But it's a timid shot and he was easily saved there uh, by the Bradford goalkeeper. Just a long ball straight over the top, that. Now the ball kicked long down the field by the goalkeeper as it's knocked back in the direction it came from. Now the ball worked out wide on this near side. Another sliding challenge coming in there from Harrogate. And that's going to be another free kick to Bradford on this near side. Midway inside the Harrogate. Uh, sorry, midway inside their own half of the field. We've still got the Bradford player down as the referee just comes across to check on him. So, goalkeeper comes out. Ball kicked long down the field. Headed back in the direction it came from. As ball sets the players trying to win it and it's knocked out of play on this near side for another throw in uh, to Bradford. Midway inside the Harrogate half of the field. Ball comes in. As now... Harrogate managing to win the possession, knocking it back out towards this near side. As they try to kick the ball long under pressure there, but uh, they've ended up knocking it straight out of play. And that will be a throwing again to Bradford as they take it quickly, throwing it long towards the edge of the box. 
knocked away by Harrogate. Harrogate knocking it up the field as uh, both sets of players try to intercept it on the halfway line. Claims for a foul there by Harrogate, but referee wastes it away. It's now Bradford back with a possession, played into the centre circle. As now they chip the ball long, straight down the middle of the field. And both sets of players challenge for it there, and the referee's given a free kick to Bradford just outside the Harrogate box. Uh, just a clumsy challenge there. So free kick to Bradford. Just outside the box. Slight, very, very central, but slightly out to that far side, but only very slightly. But like I say, central. Almost central anyway. So I think we're going to get a shot on goal here from Bradford. The uh, four-man wall for Harrogate. Well, ball's been blown by the wind. It's quite windy uh, in North Yorkshire today. Now the shot comes in and the goalkeeper makes a comfortable save there. Not a bad effort there by Bradford, but equally good save by the goalkeeper. Uh, Piolo saying, uh, I don't exactly what you've done, Gaz. Uh, fresh cup of coffee. Ah, right. Okay. So I, I presume you probably didn't hear my previous question then. Fair enough. No worries, mate. Uh, well, thank you for being back with us, mate. Ball knocked out wide on this near side as it's chipped forward by Harrogate towards the edge of the box. Bradford trying to knock it away there, but it's deflected back to uh, the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper now kicks the ball long, straight down the field. Now it's being challenged. Both sets of players trying to win it in the centre circle as it's headed out towards that far side. Now Bradford knock it forward as Harrogate managing to intercept it. They kick the ball long down that far side of the field. As well, it's just sneaked out of play there. But the referee blows the whistle here. And he's going to give a free kick on that far side again. He's giving every, he's blowing the whistle for every soft contact there is at the moment, this ref. So Bradford with the free kick on that far side, midway inside the Harrogate half of the field. Uh, Piolo is saying, what was your previous question? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute, mate. Uh, ball crossed into the box. As uh, it's, Bradford still with the possession as they cross it back into the box and it's knocked away by Harrogate as the ball bounces out on this near side for a throw into Bradford deep inside the Harrogate half. A couple of yards from the corner flag on this near side. Sorry, P.O. Lost, I will. I'll, I'll say it in a minute. Just don't want to miss potentially what could result in a goal as Bradford with the uh, possession at the moment and pressing well. Ball thrown long into the box. It's headed away. As Bradford regained the possession further up the field, Bradford Harrogate quickly coming forward to press the ball, but Bradford knock it out wide on this near side as they come forward. But it's one back there by Harrogate who knocked the ball long down the field, and Bradford just uh, allow it to go all the way back to the goalkeeper. As the goalkeeper kicks it back up towards the halfway line, headed back in the direction it came from, as Harrogate latch onto it there and almost, while well, the referee blown for a foul. There's nothing in. Oh, it's the flag. I think the flag's gone up for the lot on that, uh, on this near side. Piolo said, is the, is the wind going through the ref's whistle? <laughs> no, well, it's blowing the ball sometimes when they've got a free kick. <laughs> it's the web. Right, wind going through the ref's whistle. That's a good one. So throwing on this near side. Uh, for Harrogate, midway inside their own half. Long throw down the field as Bradford headed back into the centre circle. Ball sets the players trying to win it as now Bradford come away with it, charging forward, space to run into as they knock it out wide on that far side, coming towards the edge of the box as 
Uh, Harrogate tried to make the challenge, but Bradford just cut the ball back there. Oh, and another clumsy challenge. And Well, he's going to get a yellow card for this. I'll be surprised if he doesn't. So Bradford with a free kick on that far side. Is he going to get a card or not? Yep, yeah, he's going to get a yellow card, the Harrogate player. So free kick on that far side for Bradford, midway inside the Harrogate half. So, yeah, Pierre Lars, my question earlier was um, just quickly asking you, obviously, when Rangers was in the uh, uh, lower leagues, obviously, with what happened a few years back uh, with the, obviously, administration and all that kind of stuff. I was just asking what was the main thing you noticed that there was the biggest problem in the lower leagues in Scotland? Uh, was it poor refereeing? Uh, Oh, well, the free kick taken there and it's not behind and that's going to be a goal kick to Harrogate. Uh, so, yeah, was it? what was the main thing you noticed that the bigger problem, biggest problem in lower league Scottish football? Uh, was it pitch infrastructure, poor refereeing, uh, lack of finance? Um, what what was the biggest thing that you noticed, Pure Loyalist? Um, that's what, that was the question I was trying to ask you. So ball out of play on this near side, and that's going to be uh, a throw into Bradford deep inside their own half. Uh, Piola saying it's the same up here, uh, windy and rainy, typical Scottish weather. Yeah, well, it's not rainy actually here for for once uh, today, mate. It's not rainy here. It has been raining loads over the last few months, loads and loads, just as probably just as much as up in Scotland. Or maybe not quite as much. I'm not sure. No, Scotland does get a lot of rain. But we get a lot of rain in the northwest of England as well, to be fair, mate. A lot of rain. My cousin moved over to the other side, over towards Lincoln. And he said it's a lot. they get a lot less rain over there. So uh, I think it's because of the Pennines. Harrogate now with the possession on that far side. It's the ball kicked long down the field. It's do it. With the yellow card and well, both sets of players trying to keep it in play there, but it's ended up going behind, and that's going to be a free kick to Bradford City. Goal kick, should I say? But yeah, windy here, mate. Windy, but not rainy. And not rainy in Yorkshire either. As I can see, it's blue skies there, but very windy. You can see the trees blowing around uh, behind the stand. So, goal kick now for Bradford City. It's the ball kicked long down the field by the goalkeeper. Both sets of players trying to win it. Now, the ball knocked forward as it eventually bounces all the way back to the Bradford goalkeeper as he now plays it out wide on this near side. Bradford kicking it long down the field as Harrogate knock it back in the direction it came from. Now, Harrogate with the possession on the halfway line as they knock it forward. As Bradford come to challenge for it, but Harrogate managed to knock it over the top here as they get in behind. Ball crossed into the box and it's headed behind by Bradford. And that's going to be a corner on this near side. And I think we're going to get substitution in a minute for Bradford. So Harrogate with the corner on this near side. Ball crossed in as it's knocked away. And now Harrogate win the possession further up the field as to just play it back to the goalkeeper who's come well out of his area to intercept that. Kicks the ball long out wide to this near side as Bradford head it out of play. And that will be a throw into Harrogate midway inside the Bradford half on this near side. Piolo say mostly noticed uh, bad sportsmanship uh, and Celtic winning titles, but in general play in the SPL. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't mean the the Premiership. Mean I meant. I meant. What did you notice was uh, noticeably bad in the lower leagues. That the, the biggest thing that needs attention was it the officiating by the re referees. Obviously, um, I'm presuming the referee. Well, I know when I've seen Scottish Championship games, the refereeing standards are not great. Um, and obviously. Pitch infrastructure is an issue as well. Um, 
stadium infrastructure, stewarding, that kind of thing. That's what I was meaning. What was the biggest thing you noticed that's a problem for lower league clubs in Scotland? So, got a corner on this near side as the ball knocked behind. Harrogate now with the corner. Comes into the box. It's headed away. Uh, as ball sets a play. He's trying to win it outside the box. Bradford trying to clear their lines as Harrogate quickly come to challenge. And the ball takes a deflection and goes out on that far side for another throw in. Uh, Piolo saying, we accepted our punishment, uh, but think it went uh, beyond what was needed uh, when others got less. Think we were made an excellent example of. No, I agree. I didn't agree with you guys getting uh, getting sent down like that. Uh, obviously, I know that, mate. And I, obviously, I said quite a bit of the time, near, near to the time about it. So I agree that it was out of order. And I agree you guys were made the scapegoat. But I was obviously I was trying to get some uh, some insight off you to lower league Scottish football, mate. That was all I was asking for. But yeah, I agree. You didn't deserve it. And I, and I agree with what you're saying as well with other clubs getting a lesser punishment. Ball out of play on that far side as it's knocked forward. Just had a substitution. I'll come to the substitutions in a moment, guys. That's now Harrogate with the possession on the edge of their own box. Ball played forward down that far side. It's now they uh, work the way down that far side. Bradford trying to challenge, but Harrogate still coming forward here as they work the way towards the edge of the box. Ball played in as Bradford knock it away. And Harrogate managed to head it back into the box as the goalkeeper just comes to intercept that. And that will be relief momentarily uh, for Bradford. Goalkeeper quickly plays the ball up the field. So thank you for that, Pure Lies. 23, uh, Breslow. How are you doing, mate? Welcome to Football Fan Den. Uh, Twenty-three Bre Brelo. I'm not sure if I'm reading that correctly. Uh, public J. Uh, okay, mate. Uh, Twenty-three Brelo saying, "What you think, Harrow, uh, for the win or draw?" Um, at the moment, I've got to be honest, and I'm completely neutral. Obviously, I have no preference on either team. Uh, I'm completely neutral, and at the moment, I've got to be honest. It's Harrogate uh, with the momentum. They look the more likely to win the game at the moment. They're currently one nil up. We're sixty-four minutes in. And uh, Bradford, I've got to be honest, they're, they're competing. They're trying to create chances, obviously. But uh, at the moment, in all honesty, the, I think Harrogate uh, looking the better team. But uh, Bradford now coming forward as they play the ball towards the edge of the box. It's challenged by Harrogate and it's deflected behind. And that will be a corner for Bradford on this near side. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, 23, 23, Bra Braylo. Obviously, with a 1-0 scoreline, it could, you know, it's a tight, tight game at the moment. So, it, you know, you never know if Bradford might get an opportunity and equalise. That's always possible when it's only 1-0. Uh, as the corner comes in, it's headed away by Bradford. Uh, sorry, by uh, Harrogate. As Bradford pick it up on this near side. Now another cross comes into the box, but it's... Well, it's gone straight behind, and that will be a goal kick to Harrogate. Um, but, yeah, as I say, 1-0 is always a tight game, so anything can happen. But at the moment, uh, as I say, as a neutral, I can on give you an honest assessment of the game, and it is Harrogate uh, with the better uh, possession, when or the better, making the best of the possession when they've had it better than Bradford. So hopefully that answers your question. Let me just quickly check those subs as I. So, yeah, so sorry, guys. Uh, we just had a couple of substitutions. Uh, Bradford making a triple substitution, and it's uh, James, Jamie Walker coming off, uh, and Bobby Poynton coming on, um, Matthew Platt coming off, and uh, Ciara Kelly coming on. Apologies if I'm not reading his correct name correctly. Although I don't know all all the players for the both teams. Uh, Liam Riddle Riddle Ridehall uh, coming off, and Adam Wilson coming on. And we just had a sub substitution for Harrogate. Uh, Stephen 
Doily uh, coming off and it's Jack uh, Mulden uh, coming on. So there you go, guys. Now, Bradford with the possession in the middle of the park. So thank you for that, 23 uh, Bralo. Uh, apologies if I'm not reading your name correctly, mate. Uh, but welcome to Football Fan Den UK. Minnie Mo, how you doing, mate? Minnie saying afternoon, Fan Deners. How you doing, Minnie? Welcome to the show, mate. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. We were just talking about you a minute ago, saying about right. Uh, Pure Loves mentioned about the Hibs Rangers game coming at the weekend next weekend, mate. Hope you're doing well, Minnie. Are you got day off today, mate, or are you at work? Ball played long down this near side. It's now Bradford win back the possession as they play it now across the field, out wide to that far side. And say, come forward now. Bradford kicking the ball long down the field as Harrogate now well, just had it out of play on that far side. And that's going to be a throw into Bradford on the far side, deep inside the Harrogate half of the field. Throwing to it, taken quickly by Bradford. Now the ball knocked towards the edge of the box as Harrogate trying to challenge. Now the ball crossed in by Bradford as it's well. Just goes wide of this near side post and that'll be a goal kick to Harrogate. Uh, Piolo saying, sorry, the pitch, uh, sorry, the pitches uh, were like cow fields. No seating at some. Uh, snack bars outside. No, not indoors. Uh, only some uh, covering from the weather in some stadiums. Well, thank you for the insight, Pure Lollist. Nice one, mate. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. That That's just highlighting the, the fact that some of the money needs to filter down uh, into lower league Scottish football as well as it does in English football. Not enough money filtering down from the top level. Now Harrogate uh, with the possession as they knock it out wide on this near side and it's gone out for another throw into Bradford on this near... near no, it's gone Brad, Harrogate's way. So I thought, I thought it was... Uh, Harrogate that got the last touch to that, but it's uh, took must have took a deflection there of the uh, challenging Bradford player. So thank you for that, Pure Lollis. Thank you for answering my question, mate. Top man. Uh, Pure Lollis say Minimo. Hello, hope you are doing well. All's good here. Awesome. Thank you for that, Pure Lollis. Top man. Throwing on this near side now for Bradford as they play it towards the edge of the box. Harrogate challenge and they've knocked it straight back out of play for another throw in on this near side to Bradford. Uh, if you guys just joining us, we're just coming up towards 70 minutes gone and it's currently uh, Harrogate Town 1, Bradford City nil. Tight game so far. Ball crossed into the box for Bradford as it's knocked away by Harrogate up the field. And now Harrogate managing to win the possession under pressure there as they just play it back to their defensive line. Now the ball kicked long down the field on this near side as Harrogate now with the possession midway inside the Bradford half. Now trying to come forward as Bradford snapping at their heels, trying to make the challenges, but Harrogate still coming forward as eventually a strong challenge comes in from Bradford and the ball has gone out of play on this near side for a throw in. Uh, Minimo is saying, I'm fine. Uh, Pure Lollist, how's you? Awesome. Thank you for that minute. Good to hear, mate. Good to hear. Uh, Pure Lollist saying, 23, Braviolo. Uh, hello. It's a pretty even game, so I'll just uh, go for a draw. Nil-nil. Uh, well, can't, can't be nil-nil at the moment, mate. It's one-nil at the moment. Uh, but thank you for that, Pure Lollist. And Pure Law is saying, all oh, good, Mini. Thanks. Good to hear. Thank you for that, mate. Uh, ball's gone out of play on that far side for another throw into Bradford. As uh, so the ball comes back in play, both sets of players trying to challenge for it. It's Harrogate knock it towards the edge of the box. It's knocked away as Bradford now pick up the possession. Another strong challenge comes in and no foul given as the ball deflects out of play on this near side for another throw in. Uh, I can't even read that name because I don't speak. Chinese, but welcome to Football Fan Den UK, mate. Apologies, I cannot read your name as I don't speak the language. Uh, but saying Bradford goal 1 1. Uh, well, it's currently 1 0 to Harrogate. Oh, now Harrogate still coming forward here. Uh, but welcome to Fan Den, mate. 
Ball knocked out wide on that far side. As, oh, the referee's going to... Oh, he's pointed to the spot. He's going to give a penalty. Wow. What is he giving that for? Well, the referee has given a penalty here. What's he giving it for? Oh, my God. What a pathetic referee is giving it for a handball. And the ball bounced up off the field onto the Bradford player's hand. And he knew nothing about it. That is never hand to ball. That is, uh, sorry, that is never hand to ball. That is ball to hand. What a poor decision by the referee. It's right on the edge of the box. So, penalty here for Harrogate. But even both sets of players look stunned by the decision. As he shoots it into the far corner of the net. And that is a second goal for Harrogate on 72 and a half minutes gone. But I've got to be honest, guys. Even both sets of players look shocked with that decision from the referee. Uh, Piola saying, are you looking forward to the 30th uh, minute? 3-1 uh, Rangers, I'm going for. Thank you for that, Piola. Uh, Kelly, goal. No, well, no goal for Bradford, mate. It's 2-0 it's now to Harrogate. Uh, so, they just got a penalty. And as, as I say, both sets of players look shocked with that decision from the referee. Uh, Minimo is saying, another game uh, full of cheating. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> that's, that's our minute. Always says it as she sees it. Uh, thank you for that minute. Uh, we've got another clumsy foul on the far side of the field here. And the referee reaching straight for the yellow card here. So, Bradford player booked for that challenge on the far side of the field. Oh, it's just pulled him down. He was falling over. And as he's fall over, he's dragged the, uh, the Harrogate uh, player down. I think that's a little bit of a hard... It's definitely a foul, no question about that. But I think the yellow card's a little bit harsh because he was already falling. He's just, he's just ended up falling into the player. Uh, now Harrogate kicked the ball long down the field. As both sets of players trying to challenge for it now on the edge of the box as Bradford managed to come away with it. Now they play it out wide on that far side. And uh, Minimo saying, I'm good, guys. How are you feeling? Uh, throw okay? Yeah, I'm a lot better now, Mini. Thank you for asking. Uh, thank you for that, mate. Yeah, thank you for the tip with the salt water. I did try it. I did try it. It's very odd, uh, gaggling salt water. But uh, I did try it, mate, and it did seem to help a little bit, actually. Uh, but, yeah, totally clear of the of the flu and the cold now. Uh, thank you for the, uh, remembering, Minute. You are a star. Thank you for that, mate. And I uh, hope you're doing well as well, Minute. Hope you're doing well yourself, mate. Now the ball played down that far side as Harrogate now coming towards the edge of the box. Ball crossed in as Bradford managing to make the challenge, but they've not cleared it here as Harrogate now with the possession on this near side as they chip it back towards the edge of the box, played towards the byline and just couldn't keep it in there as it's gone behind. And it's took a deflection, so that's going to be another corner. So thank you for that minute. Uh, Pio Lois is saying, uh, Minute, his throat's fine. Uh, you should have heard uh, him last night giving a guy his uh, carry, 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 character because of a few comments uh, regarding the Scotland team. Yeah, I'm, I'm not into that. You know that, guys. You guys that are fun and regulars. No, I'm not into that. Um, where people are coming on just hating for no reason. And I certainly ain't going to listen to England fans talking garbage uh, when they weren't even involved in the game. So, yeah. I think Minnie's Mini seen me ranting before, Pure Lollist. <laughs> She's seen me ranting a few times, mate. Uh, but thank you for that, Pure Lollist. 
Ball played down this near side. It's now Bradford with a cross into the box as it's headed away out to that far side and goes out of play. And that's going to be a throw in on the far side, but quickly the movement there from Bradford. And now we're going to see another substitution here for Bradford. So thank you for that, Pure Lois. Uh, Minimo is saying, in the big games, uh, Shankland uh, can't do it and our defence. I'm tad worried uh, for the Euros, to be honest. Uh, well, there was actually a fan talking last night about Gordon. Uh, Newcastle player potentially, uh, potentially could play for Scotland. Um, and he's a forward, isn't he, Mini? So that would be good if Scotland did manage to uh, get him to play for Scotland. I don't know what other... I presume he might have uh, be eligible for England as well, but if he is, he's probably better to pick Scotland because he's going to get less game, game chances playing for England. England is spoiled. Uh, and I'm, I'm an England fan. I'm honest, but I'm an honest England fan and we are spoiled when it comes to uh, the quality of players that we've got compared to other UK nations. Now... Harrogate with the possession played into the centre circle. Ball kicked out wide on this near side as Harrogate again come towards the edge of the box. Ball played towards the edge of the box there as Bradford challenging for it. Now Harrogate getting behind. Ball crossed in and Harrogate taps it into the back of the net. It's the third goal for Harrogate Town. 78 minutes gone. Harrogate three, Bradford nil. Well, Bradford went to sleep a little bit at the back there as that ball was played in behind their defence and it was an easy tapping in the end as it was just crossed straight into the face of uh, goal and an easy tapping for Bradford, uh, for, sorry, for Harrogate as Bradford slow to react and I think it might even be an own goal. So, good goal. But, yeah, I agree, man. I think, well, I, think, I was saying it the other night, last night for the Scotland game. I think Shankland's that kind of player uh, where you get some good games out of him and then all of a sudden he goes missing. He scores, he plays well for a few games and then suddenly just doesn't score at all for a few games, does he? Ball played out wide on this near side. That's now... Bradford trying to come forward. Pure Lois saying, so much uh, for me going to the shops, guys. Typical. Yeah, I know you said you was going, mate. You get yourself off, Pure Lois, if you need to go to the shops. Uh, we've got another game coming later on, so you can uh, obviously drop in if you want to, if or if you're busy, that's fair enough. Bradford now playing the ball into the box. Uh, as Harrogate challenged for it, but Bradford did knock it away back out towards the edge of the box as they keep the pressure on here. Now, ball played in behind us. It's attempted to be crossed in, but uh, Harrogate managed to intercept it and knock it away up the field. Uh, Piolo say Minimo, I agree about that. Thank you, Piolo List. Now, ball knocked all the way back to uh, the Bradford goalkeeper. Thank you, Pure Lois. Uh, Minimo saying, windy as hell out, out there, uh, Pure Lois. Yeah, it's pretty windy down here as well, Mini, but no rain like you guys are getting up there in Scotland at the moment. Ball played out wide on this near side as, as now Bradford have a throw in on the halfway line. Ball thrown long down the field as now Bradford coming forward. As they worked away towards the edge of the box, crossed in. It's knocked away by Harrogate as the ball uh, goes out on that far side for another throw in. Right, guys, I'm going to have to, this game wrapped up 3 0. I'm going to have to uh, jump off in a minute uh, because we've got the three o'clock kickoff coming up. Uh, Derby, I'm going to be late for that one. Now Bradford playing the ball out to this near side as it's gone out of play and that's going to be another throw in. So 
So another throwing on this near side for Harriger. Midway inside the uh, own half of the field. Uh, just let you guys know, sell out uh, at the away end for the Bradford fans. Ball comes in from the throwing. As now it's knocked out wide on this near side. And that will be another throwing. But this time, bang on the halfway line. Thank you for that minute. Uh, Piolo say minute, the wind is blowing, the refs whistle. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Minimo saying, oh, God, not another dodgy ref decision, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got to be honest, this ref in this game, he's not been at the best. He's given some really poor decisions. Uh, no, no disrespect to either team. Uh, it's not their fault, but he has given some really questionable decisions and a lot of soft fouls as well, in fairness, uh, against both teams. Uh, not either way, but uh, both teams have suffered from soft fouls that he's given. Uh, but yeah, you know what it's like, at the, uh, especially at this level, League 2 level in England, uh, the refereeing standards are not the best. But thank you for that minute. Now... Harrogate with the possession, played towards the edge of the centre circle. Piola saying, refs, uh, unite, minute. Refs united, minute. Now, Harrogate playing it out wide on that far side as he knock it forward. But Bradford just managed to get to it first as he knock it back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper kicks the ball long up the field. It's now both sets of players trying to win it on the halfway line as it's knocked out of play on that far side. And that will be a throw into Bradford. Uh, Minimo saying, I'm so fed up of refs. Uh, it's really spoiling the game we love. Well said, Minnie. Well said, mate. I totally agree with you there, mate. Totally agree with you. We're, wait we're talking about referees in games way too much throughout this season. Now the ball played down this near side by Bradford. As Harrogate again come to challenge for it. And it's gone out of play for another throw in. Uh, Piolo saying two true minute. Absolutely well said, guys. Uh, Minimo saying feeling uh, confident about Brazil gas tonight, guys. Uh, to be honest, I'm not too bothered about it, minute. It's going to be it's going to be a glorified training session, isn't it? And, uh, and and quite a few of the England players have not made themselves available, uh, pretending to have injuries so that they don't have to risk playing. Obviously, and the number of them are Arsenal players. Uh, and uh, Manchester City players. Phil Foden apparently has pulled out. Uh, apparently, Saka has pulled out. Um, so, you, you know, it's going to be, obviously, it's going to be potentially, it could be a good game, but I think it's going to be more of a glorified training game than anything, mate. So, um, I, as you know, Minnie, it's a, it's a friendly, in it? And, you know, you must have seen enough England games uh, to see uh, what England play like in friendlies. And, you know... I've been saying it all week. I'm 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 not thrilled about England playing in friendlies because you just know that the players have been told off their club managers, take it easy, don't risk getting injury. And because they play for England, they listen because they're stupid. You know what I mean? They're stupid listening to their club managers when they're on international duty. Uh, it's just madness. We've seen too many examples of it. Uh, but... We'll see how it goes, Mini, but I'm not expecting anything special from England, to be fair. I think it'll be more, as I said, more like a glorified training game, to be fair. Um, I'm more... Oh, I've got another foul here. Yeah, oh, we're gonna have another foul here. We've got another foul head injury in the box. This game is dragging on too long. Well, it's done. It's three 0 to Harrogate, and the score isn't going to change. I don't think. And even if it does, it's only going to be a consolation goal. Um, Piolo saying, minute Scotland played okay last night. Uh, just uh, finishing uh, that beat them. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, well said, Piolo. I agree. Definitely. Uh, obviously, obviously, as I know, as you guys know, I, I didn't get to see the first half because I was running my missus to work. But I heard, I heard after the game, 
uh, comments on it from pundits and they were saying that Scotland were the better team in the first half uh, and deserved to obviously be level on score on the score. But uh, but I thought what I saw of it, I agree. I think Scotland gave a good account of themselves. Mini saying same old story. Uh, pure lawless. Uh, pure lawless saying England v Brazil will be an exciting game. Minute, do you think so? Do you think so? Fair enough. No, that's fair enough. Hopefully it'll be a good game, but I'm not sure if it's going to be mega exciting with Southgate at the helm. You probably play it safe knowing him. Uh, Pure Lawless saying, yes, same old minute. Uh, minute saying, Harry Kane not playing, I see. Uh, will be inter interesting seeing uh, what lineup he plays. Well, as I've just said, Harry Kane not playing, Saka not playing, Phil Foden not made himself available either. Uh, there's quite a few top players that have not made themselves available claiming injury, uh, which is just pathetic considering we've seen Saka playing the other day uh, for Arsenal. And I'll bet you any money he'll be involved in their game uh, against Manchester City after the international break. Don't agree with players faking injury uh, for international duty. I agree that friendlies are pointless and we should scrap them at this stage of the season. There shouldn't be any friendlies at this stage of the season uh, when clubs have got things to play for. Harrogate knocking the ball up the field as it goes all the way back to the goalkeeper. Piolo saying, uh, now, guys, I've waited on them uh, so they can wait on me now. OK, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Um, I was just saying, if you need to get off, mate, I understand. Uh, but thank you for that. Uh, Piolo saying, meant... No, Gaz, I've waited on them. Now they can wait on me. Okay, yeah, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Ball out of play on that far side. Need to wrap this up now, guys. As, uh, we're pretty much on 90 minutes. And uh, Harry Kitt's just knocking the ball about in their own half. Uh, sorry, I'm going to have to jump off in a minute, guys. But we have got the 3 o'clock kickoff. But this game is wrapped up. Harrogate winning 3 0. Uh, Minimo saying, What's the next game? Uh, Derby uh, v Northampton minute. Um, obviously, there's only limited games today with it being an international week. So, um, so we're going with. So, yeah, we're going with um, Northampton Town v Derby County. Obviously, Derby competing at the top of League One. So, yeah. Uh, Piolo say now they can wait until the end of the next game. Tit for tat. Okay, fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Uh, Piolo say minute. Be honest, I can't remember. And uh, Piolo say, guys, you've only got five minutes until the next game. I think it's less than that. Yeah, we're bang on three o'clock. Uh, so I'm going to jump off here, guys, because this game is done. We're on 90 minutes now. A uh, couple of minutes added on time, but it's Harrogate 3, Bradford City uh, nil. I'm going to jump off and go on, get on to the next game. Minimal saying, I know everyone uh, loves Saka, but he won't be in my top 11. Uh, granted, I don't watch Arsenal much. I think he's a great player, but I do think he's getting overhyped. I really do. I think Arsenal fans are ridiculously overhyping him, setting him up for the fall. Uh, but thank you for that minute. Uh, Pure Lawless is saying friendly games are only excuses for injuries. Yeah, that's a fair point, Pure Lawless. And um, Minnie saying, I'll support Northampton then. <laughs> okay, mate. Uh, Pure Lawless laughing. Uh, right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. We're into added on time, a couple of minutes, but it's Harry got three, Bradford nil. And uh, unless Bradford, if Bradford do score, it's only going to be a consolation goal. Um, so yeah, game done, really, guys. 3 0 to Harrogate, only a couple of minutes added on time. Apologies, I can't see it through to the end. Uh, but like I say, uh, we had a delay to this game with an injury to the linesman, uh, which delayed the game significantly, which is why it's not finished before three. So I'm going to jump off now, guys, and switch over to uh, Northampton Town v Derby. Uh, if you're not too busy, please do join us there. We'd love to have you part of the funding community chat in that game if you're not too busy but if you are uh if you've got other things to do i understand so thank you for joining us on this stream guys uh enjoy the rest of your saturday stay safe and well and i look forward to seeing you guys soon uh on future shows uh and uh stay safe and well uh pure life saying
catch up next game, folks. Uh, take care. Absolutely. Thank you, Pure Lawless. Uh, and thank you to all you guys that dropped in. Uh, as I say, it's uh, fin pretty much finished here now. We're only two minutes to go. Uh, I've added on time. And it's 3-0 to Harrogate. And uh, uh, as I say, we're going to jump over to Northampton v Derby. So please do join me there if you're not too busy. Uh, but for me for now, that's it. Take care. All the best. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.